Hey guys, this is Kaijin Hunter, and this is my top 5 list of longswords in Monster Hunter World. Keep in mind that every weapon can be augmented very late in the game, meaning all the weapons can be pretty much equal in strength, but these are straight out of the box, my top 5 pick. Coming in at number 5 is Rathian, Wyvern Blade Holly. I like this blade a lot because it's got very good attack at 627, it's got decent blue, 10% affinity, 330 poison, which goes good with any monster, and it even has a decoration slot and can be augmented twice. There's something about a weapon that can be used on any monster that I just love. And of course note that you, this could have been replaced with any one of the awesome elemental blades, but then it would be sort of, you know, my opinion on which element I like and I didn't want to get into that. Number four is Xenojiva. Uh, this one I especially like because it has white out of the box, but you absolutely need handicraft. But it's got 15% affinity, 180 dragon, and those two level 3 slots for decorations. Longsword is a weapon that the more power you pack into it, the even better you're going to do. Uh, so being able to have level 3 slots, so if you ever get lucky and get like crit boost or anything like that, these are the perfect slots to fill that in and make this weapon just even more powerful. Coming in at number 3 is Nergigante. I know, it's crazy. It's not number 1 or 2. <laughs> it's kind of a first for my top 5. Nergigante Longsword is absolutely solid. Make no mistake about that. 693 and that long blue is just lovely. Really top class attack. Really good for sharpness so you don't have to worry about sharpening. The element 120 is kind of weak. High Elder Seal, so very good for those end game bosses. And you also get a single slot. So all around this scene is very, very solid. But coming in at number 2 has to be Valhazak. Now this thing does sort of require that you have Handicraft level 5, but honestly a lot of the good longswords use Handicraft, so I think a Handicraft level 3 decoration and like the Kushala chest, that's just the sweet sauce for longsword. so I consider this okay. It's got 2 spots for augmentation, 660 attack, it goes up to white, so if you consider that white is 10% more damage than blue, this thing definitely surpasses Nergigante, and I love the design. 270 Dragon is great for those that are weak to Dragon, and it does have average Elder Seal. And coming in at number one is the Arena Workshop weapon, the Divine Slasher. Oh, this thing is so good. 693, so same attack as Nerg, top of the class. This thing also requires Handicraft to get into that white. Um, it has an element that is hidden, so do not free it, and that means you can take the highest ROM possible on a longsword and add in that non-elemental boost decoration, which gives it an additional 10% attack, which is why this thing is hands down the best longsword if you look at just pure raw power. I also love the design. It's got this really nice blood red blade uh, when you take it out. Uh, very cool. And also a good excuse to go up and play in the arena, which is actually really fun, and I'm surprised more players aren't in there having a good time. And finally, let's not forget to mention that this thing gets a level 3 slot and a plus 20 defense boost. Hands down, this is the best one, but it does require some sets uh, to work with, but then again, so does Valhazak, so work on getting your handicraft level 3 decoration, it's going to come in handy. Okay, and now time for an honorable mention. <laughs> you knew I couldn't get through a top 5 list without a blast weapon. This is Basil's, uh, I really like it because the design is so cool. It's got like little the pinecone designs on the blade, which are the blast, of course, that it drops. 660 attack. This is yet another weapon that is going to require handicraft, so make sure, again, use that handicraft. Minus 10 affinity, but then again, when you max this thing out, uh, you're going to be using it with sets that are going to be giving you affinity boost anyways. 210 blast is great, and it does come with two slots. So overall, a super good weapon. And I had a really hard time putting it in my top five because for many reasons it can rank as high as say like number four uh, or even number three and I just couldn't decide so I decided to give it the honorable mention. So those were my top five. What are your favorite ones? Let me know down in the comments below which longswords I didn't have in my list that you particularly like and why and share that information with everybody else. Please check out my tutorial if you haven't already. You can click the screen right now to go to that. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and until next time, happy hunting.